Five and Hot 97 present Street Soldiers with Lisa Evers. I'm so glad you're joining us for this episode of Street Soldiers on the 2022 Hip Hop Year in Review. I'm your host, Lisa Evers. In many ways, it was a banner year with a full schedule of concerts and club dates, along with exciting new music from established and emerging artists. There were also some tragic losses to grieve as the culture looks ahead to its 50th anniversary. Hip Hop's new female artists like Glorilla, who debuted her first EP, are going hard with their bars and beats. Bronx native Ice Spice got a thumbs up from Drake after her hit song Munch went viral. Hip hop's biggest stars like Future and Kendrick Lamar made their mark too, says Billboard Deputy Director Carl Lamar. And this was a great year overall, us being able to see a lot of the heavyweights come back outside, like a Kendrick Lamar who had a five year hiatus. Um, to see him come back with a new album, a new tour, and rack up eight Grammy nominations lets us know that real rap is still appreciated. While hip hop dominated the charts, there was tragedy the community had to endure. The murder of Migo superstar Takeoff, who was an innocent bystander in a Houston shooting, stunned and saddened millions of fans around the world. I think we lost somebody that was an underrated specimen with the pen um, and who had so much more to give in hip hop and music. The deadly robbery that took the life of PMB Rock was another inescapable reminder that no matter how famous or successful, the threat of gun violence is everywhere. Losing my, one of my friends in the game, PMB Rock, you know, it's just like, it's, it made me feel like, do you ever really make it? You know, like, like even like, like, like PNB Rock, he done made it with the music and made it out of his hood, moved to Cali, living his life. Albert Robinson, better known as rapper Al Bial, was recently released from the Bergen County Correctional Center after pleading guilty to pointing a weapon at someone, says his attorney, Jay Surgent. Now a new deal with Empire Records is giving him the chance to trade New Jersey's most dangerous streets for a recording studio. I changed my negative into a positive, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a real success story, like, I'm, I'm a product of my environment, you know, and, and I just... I not only change my lives, I'm changing others as I as I go along. I got a story to tell. I'm just a I'm just a, a kid from the projects with a story to tell. <laughs> At 97, DJ Drewski pulled off one of the year's biggest surprises when he brought out megastar Cardi B on the Summer Jam Festival stage. She jumped on a song with drill artist Dougie B, and the crowd went wild. Drewski says the hip-hop subgenre of drill continues to thrive despite the violence. The New York and New Jersey scene is expanding and diversifying with artists like the multifaceted Ron Suno, Atlantic artist 22G's, Brooklyn's Siggy Black, AMG Records' Baby ATM, and Shah E.K. of the Bronx, who celebrated making Billboard's Heat Seekers chart at a Midtown restaurant. It's still going. We're still getting young drill artists. We're still getting artists like Didi Osama, who's 16, 17 years old, signing to major record labels off of drill music. Let's break this all down for you with our panel. Joining us is Carl Lamar. He is the Deputy Director of R&B and Hip Hop for Billboard. Carl, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me, Lisa. We really appreciate it. Also with us is Hot 97's own DJ Drewski. You hear him on Saturdays from 3 to 7 in the afternoon. He, he's also a host of his own show, The New Movement, on Sundays at 11 p.m. If you want to hear what's new um, in New York and everywhere else to tune in because he's got a lot of uh, new artists. He's also a music producer. He's worked with various artists, including Pop Smoke, and uh, also functions as a producer and getting new acts out there as well and looking for new acts. Um, Drewski, thank you so much for being with us. Of course. Thank you for having me. We appreciate it. Also with us is Al B. Al. Now, I'm very excited to have him on the show because I heard about him Heard about you, Alby, from a lot of different people. They were like, you got to get him on the show. You got to get him on the show. He's a hip hop artist signed to Empire Records and yes. one of the new emerging artists in the uh, tri state area here. Just came home recently, several months yeah. ago from some time in prison. And so he's really focused yes. on his music career now. And that's that's a great thing. Alby, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. I appreciate everything. I swear, dude. <laughs> we, appre we appreciate it. Carl, 2022, what was this year like? What was the overall theme, do you think? I mean, I think it was a combination of, you know, a lot of great music. Uh, shout out to Drake, 21 Savage, 
her loss coming through with a with a stellar week. I think it did over four hundred thousand out the gate. Um, the return of future, him being the fifth artist all time to land number one, you know, simultaneously on a Billboard two hundred and hot one hundred when Wait for You um, yeah. debuted. I think I want to say six months in the top ten. Of course, the return of Kendrick Lamar. You know, we've been waiting five years for the brother to come back to center stage and, you know, for him to put on Mr. Morale and the Big Step is along with a fire tour, um, which really, you know, really dominated throughout the U.S., throughout the world. He did a world tour. Um, so I, to see the heavyweights back in action was pretty dope. But on the flip side, you know, and, and this was something that really, like, struck a chord with me, and I'm sure with everybody here, just the losses that that we've had on the hip-hop side. You know, R.I.P., P&B Rock, um, R.I.P. Takeoff, and a lot of our legends that we lost, the older um, generation that a lot of people may not be familiar with, you know, Coolio. Um, so I think with any time, you know, whether it's music, whether it's sports, whether it's life, you're always going to get a fair share of some good things and some bad things. Yeah, definitely. We're going to talk, talk about some of those we lost later on in the show. Drewski, in terms of in terms of this year, because you're out in the clubs, you're out in the streets, the showcases are back. It, it's like, is this a foot? Was this really the first full year since the pandemic of like this explosion and things really getting back to to full motion? Yeah, for sure. I think, you know, we were stuck in the house through the whole pandemic. Artists didn't have places to go perform and people didn't have places to go party and now you know with things fully open this year you have seen like yo people they wanted to be outside they wanted to party artists was glad to get back in the in the clubs and in the you know stadiums and even with our own like summer jam you know it's it just a, a new energy and excitement to be able to do shows and i i think you know for showcases me i host a lot produce a lot of showcases for new artists it's just insane. And 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 I feel like it created a lot of new artists too, right? Because people were home and like, yo, I'm gonna become an artist now. I can't do nothing else. So <laughs> I'm gonna start recording. So it created that too. So we have a lot of new music and a lot of new artists. And it was just an influx of just, you know, new talent that, that was created, I feel like, this year. And, and and one of those new talents is with us for the show uh for the first time on Street Soldiers, the one and only Albiel. Alvi, yeah, great yeah, time yeah. with us. Thank you for having me again. Yeah, every day is good. Every day, I'm loving the way music is right now. I'm just loving this. It. It's like it's giving so many people opportunities. What about you in terms of what this year has been like for you, going from inside to really being outside? It just, it just, it just, tra it just changed my whole life, especially with music. Like, it's like soon as I, soon as I walked out of coming out of a negative situation, my lo my life just changed for the better. You know what I mean? It just turned positive. Like. In a New York minute, like like I'm literally that week, everything changed. Like I came home, and and that week I was like a day later or something. I was discussing a deal with a a, a major label or whatever, and, uh, and they just changed my life. So like all I had to do was just keep putting out good music and and stay consistent, and everything just fell fell into my lap. Everything I manifested just came alive, you know. Right and then when you were inside, were you thinking about? Were you like envisioning it? Were you writing? Were you writing? What were you? Were you like building yeah. all of this? Yeah, most definitely, man. That most definitely, like when I was in there, I was like, if they let me out, I ain't looking back. Like I'm not. I'm like I'm about to just take this to a level where never been took a level that I always knew I can take it, but I just kept getting distracted by the streets and letting the streets get the best of me. So this time, I'm just trying to show everybody that like they can't that the streets won't get the best of me this time, you know. So I was in there, I was writing heavy on the music. It was times I didn't write. It was times I couldn't write because I just didn't believe I was going to come home again. You know what I mean? So, like, the people in there that, that was, like, fans, they used to be like, man, you got to write. You're going to go home. So I will write some fire music in there, and I'd be like, what if nobody never hear it again? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I was facing some serious time, and I didn't, there's times I didn't think I was coming home. Stay with us. There's more to come. Drewski, the, the year 2022, in terms, of the, in terms of the moments, what were right. some of the moments for you? Uh, for me, you know, when you think of our backyard, the you know, the whole drill, you know, the drill drama we went through with speaking up about drill music and the mayor of New York getting involved and, you know, that whole thing that went down, I, you know, that was a big uh, moment for me because I feel like, uh, you know, I, I'm a part of that culture. So to be able to navigate through that and, and Lisa, you were there the whole way, you know, we were talking about it and talking to artists and, 
you know, just that whole drill thing, I think really blew up. I think it gave, you know, people a sense of where New York is with the music, with the new artists. And then, you know, on the other side, we had moments, you know, like we were talking about off air at Summer Jam, where you t I had some of the young drill artists on stage and you have a superstar artist like Cardi B who comes out to support, you know, what's going on. So I just feel like we had a great momentum. I, I feel like New York, Jersey, we have eyes watching, we have identity. So I thought I thought those moments were good. Like to see Cardi come out to support a brand new artist and she ain't have to and support DJ, you know, a DJ that supported her early on. It just shows like where we're at as far as relationships and, and where people are thinking. So those were some of the big moments for me. Like Summer Jam was big, big. Carl, what about what about yeah. the effect of drill, the drill music, like nationally and internationally with with hip hop? Is it as significant as it, it seems to be here in, in the New York, New Jersey area? Yeah, I mean, even even the Munch record, the Ice Spice record, like right. you, you saw what it was able to do on a on a local scene, and it just exploded instantly. You know, with the record being hard itself, but her having a catchy hook and that really catapulting into the national scene where you have everybody saying, oh, that a munch, you know, it, it became a catchy um, catchphrase for everybody to really cling on to, started going crazy on TikTok. It started making noise on the billboard charts. So I think now a lot of people have to understand that drill isn't just a tri-state thing. Like we're at the point where it's getting national acclaim and respect from all genres from from different um sectors of the of, of the nation it's really becoming a a respected commodity now and then also and then and so many other artists also too you see a lot of these big names trying to get in to collaborate with a new drill artist that's wonderful right there because it's like every day everybody else was like trying to follow something else but now that New Jersey and uh, New York got the drill going on. Like even with me, like when I when when I when I send records to artists or whatever, artists and from the South, artists from um Detroit, like they be reaching out. They be like, "Yo, send me a drill record." You know what I mean? Because they want to be a part of that too. Because it's, it's getting that big. So it's like it's instead of just sending them a regular song that I be trying to match they sound, they want to match ours. You know what I'm saying? So they'd be like, oh, send me a drill record, send me a drill record. I'd be like, ah, I bet I send you a drill record. Like you heard the city girls do a drill record. Like mm -hmm. that drill, like everybody is like, everybody is following what we got going on. And that's what, uh, that's like, it's, it's putting a spotlight back on where, where, where the Mecca hip hop supposed to be at anyway. That's what I feel about. Every year we do lose artists in our hip hop culture. Mm -hmm. And this year there was some, one of the biggest shocks was when we learned that takeoff had been shot and killed in Houston, Texas. And um, our condolences, of course, to him, to his family, to his friends, his, his close close associates. But Carl, give us a sense of Migos, because a lot of times too, I, I had this conversation in the newsroom when we were reporting the story, like this is not just, t Takeoff was not just another hip hop artist. He was a superstar and a creative genius in a very kind of unique way. Give us a sense of, of what he had accomplished just in his, his short time. Yeah, you know, uh, when you think about it, somebody like Takeoff, to me, that brother got busy in the studio. Like, the boy had bars. And I think, you know, a lot of people misrepresent the South and think, okay, these they have the flow, they have the delivery, but the lyrics is not there. When you listen to Takeoff, the bars were there. Yeah. You know, if, if you listen to, you know, the album that he just put out with Quavo, the uh, the Infinity Links album, um, they flipped a, an outcast so fresh and so clean beat. Mm -hmm. uh, bars into captions is what the song is called. He took Andre 3000's flow and he flipped it so crazy. And the bars, each one was just a missile. And, you know, when you look at it from an individual standpoint, they all put out solo albums. It's debatable. And in a lot of barbershops, you may hear, which is to me the truth, that Take Off the Last Rocket was the best project out of the three because he took the pen so serious and you know you have cats like offset who would credit um take off for the for the signature migos flow you know the 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 triple the triple flow you know right. when it would come with that boom, 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 boom like a machine gun i don't think his pen got enough credit nor respect that every time when we lose somebody that's when we want to give them their flowers like he said on drake chance give me my flowers now i want right. to smell them while i'm here 
you know, so I think we lost somebody that was an underrated specimen with the pen um, and who had so much more to give in hip hop and music. No, absolutely. Drewski, what about your thoughts on takeoff? I agree with everything Carl said. And just you when you know, you see somebody pass, but then you see the love, you know, from everyone else. So you see artists, you know, when when the artists step up and, and show their love, you see how much he even impacted, you know, those people on low key. You know, of course, we all know when you're alive, nobody wants to give you flowers when you pass. But you see how much he impacted other artists from new artists to even seasoned artists mm -hmm. that would say like, nah, you know, I, I, I like take off. And outside the music, just his humble mentality, him being a down to earth person and, and being such a huge artist, but maintaining that, I think went a long way. You see a lot of people respect him as a person and you know, he left the impact. So if you're going to leave, but you leave him with an impact and you leave in something that will stay with people, I think that's what he created in such a short period of time, you know, in his life and just being in the, in the music, but they, you know, Migos together and take by himself. They just, you know, when you think of hip hop today, you cannot talk about hip hop without mentioning them. Yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. I mean, what are your thoughts on that? Um, I just think it's unfortunate, you know, like, cause I'll be feeling like, like even with losing my, one of my friends in the game, PNB rock, you know, it's just like, it's, it made me feel like, do you ever really make it? You know, like, like even like, like, like PNB Rock, he done made it with the music and made it out of his hood, moved to Cali, living his life. You know what I mean? And take off. He one of the biggest artists from the one of the biggest groups in hip hop ever. And and then for that to happen, it just be like, do you? To me, my not for me, I'm only speaking for me. Right. It's like sometimes it's making me feel like, do you ever really make it? Like how? Like when do you actually win this game? You know what I mean? Because it's like that's that's the object to make it out from where you from, and you got millions and of fans. Away, you got, and to get away you know, from all that violence, to get away from it. Yeah, like yeah, you get you you get away from it. Like you you separate yourself. You move from your area, and you get out of that. And then something like that still happened. When it's like it's just like crazy to me. It's like. I don't get it. It's like, it's just, it's just, I don't never know when you're going to make it. Like, it's like, how can you make it when you think you did make it? You know what I mean? Albie, Al, when you look at the scene right now, when you look at the music, what kind of trends do you see happening? Um, I see like, I see, I see like the, from the TikToks and the reels, I see like everybody's going viral with that somebody like, like, uh, like everybody, it's a spotlight for everybody to get, and I see a lot of dancing. Like you, like we was just talking about. Like I think I need to learn how to dance or something. You feel me? I'm just gonna ask you that. Yeah, I, I, I gotta start dancing, boy. I can't dance, but I I see that's what's going on. Everybody dancing. I'm about to start dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Give me somebody, one of these little kids, teach me how to do all of that, you know, and get my little dancing on. Switch it up a little bit for the next mixtape or something. Drewski, what? Looking ahead. What do you see? I'm excited. I think, you know, with the internet and it's, you know, just giving people the, the feeling, you know, I could create, I could put it out. I don't have to wait. I don't need approvals. You know, right. we just get a ton of music, a ton of talent. And it's, it's exciting, you know, to see, you know, just how much hip hop has evolved. We spoke about, you know, off air about celebrating 50 years of hip hop and that's coming around the corner and, you know, to see how far it's come and gave opportunities for everyone on, you know, on this live right now. Like it created opportunities for all of us and that's how strong it is. So we got to continue to celebrate, of course, the culture and hip hop and celebrate one another. And I think it will last another 500 years. Yeah, most that. Definitely. Mm. Carl, what advice do you have? Because, you know, we've got a lot of artists and a lot of people that work with artists listening to us and watching us right now. Do you have for them so that they can one day have that billboard cover story and interview with you and oh, be at the man. top of your charts. Just, 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 just as simple as this is going to be, just stay true to yourself, mm -hmm. you know, just, just stay true to yourself because, you know, these artists, they have been unapologetically themselves since day one. And that's how they've been able to attain these, th this type of success. So just stay true to yourself. And, you know, I don't think anything can hold you back from getting the type of success that you want.
Thanks for joining us for this episode of Street Soldiers on Hip Hop's Year in Review. You can watch it again and share it on our Fox 5 NY YouTube page. Remember, use your mind. It's your best weapon. I hope it's your only weapon. I'm Lisa Evers. Let's push for peace, love, and justice for all. <laughs>